I am Anil Kumar and in this series of multiple choice questions involving uh, trigonometric identities, we have another one here. These questions are very important from test point of view and it helps to do better in competitive exams also. The question here is, if secant x plus tan x equals to m, then sin x is equal to what? We have given four choices. Uh, how are you going to solve it? You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Since we are talking about secant and tan, and we want to find what sin x is, it's a good idea to recall that sin x can be written in terms of, uh, let's say, tan x over secant x, correct? Now, tan x is, as you know, uh, sin x over cos x and secant x is 1 over cos x. So that gives you sin x, correct? So this is very important to understand. Sin x is basically ratio of tan x and secant x. Okay. So let me write down this as ratio of tan x and secant x. Now we have equation which says uh, secant x plus tan x is equal to m. We uh, also know one identity which is uh, 1 plus tan square x is secant square x, correct? So if I rearrange and write down like this secant square x minus tan square x that will be equal to 1 and this is difference of squares. I could always factor this as secant x plus tan x times secant x minus tan x. That should be equal to 1. Now, since we are given that sum of secant and tan is m, I'll replace this with m. And then we have secant x minus tan x equals to 1. Or I get an equation here which says secant x minus tan x is 1 over m, correct? So as you can see, we have two equations, right? So from these two equations, we can find the value of secant and tan in terms of m, perfect? So this, let me call this as equation 1, this is equation 2. So if I add equation 1 and 2, what do I get? If I add, I get 2 secant x equals to m plus 1 over m or m squared plus 1 over m. Perfect. Okay. Now, if I subtract, then what do I get? So, if I do equation 1, take away equation 2, in that case, secant, secant cancel out, I get 2 tan x equals to m minus 1 over m or m square minus 1 over m. Now we know sine x is ratio of tan and secant, right? So, so what is that? So well, anyway, you could write, you could write two times also. How does it matter, right? Two, two will cancel. We have these two terms here. So we can now write down what sine x is. So sine x is ratio of these two. So that is m square minus 1 divided by m divided by that, which is m square plus 1 divided by m. So m and m cancel, and we are left with m square minus 1 over m square plus 1. Great. So option A is the right option for us. So I hope that helps to understand how to solve such uh, multiple choice questions. So in this playlist, I have a couple of them. Uh, go through them and so that you are well conversant with these uh, manipulations with trigonometric ratios. I hope that helps. Feel free to share my videos and subscribe to them. All the best.